Ferrari 360, produced from 1990 to 05 as a replacement to their 355, it was Ferrari's first ever all aluminium car. We will be checking out the variants of the 360, including the Moderna, the Spider, and the Supreme Challenge Stradale. All videos recorded by myself throughout my time filming for YouTube. Here we have a white 360 Spider who has found an excitable crowd. Oh, forgetting that he'd left his Supra at home. <laughs> Ah, the first challenge to Darling. <laughs> the Ultimate 360 providing a not so ultimate acceleration. <laughs> Do all 360 owners stem from JDM ownership? <laughs> a close road and a challenge to Darling. Let's hear it sing. <laughs> oh, gotta love a downshift. Ah, yes, the Monaco hairpin. I'm anticipating a Michael Schumacher wannabe. <laughs> Yeah, now nah, maybe not quite. Not Is he getting his 360 to do a 360? Right now he's going the wrong way around the circuit. <laughs> ah, a cheeky blue flame, a flame, a flame indeed. He's back, seemingly more restrained now. <laughs> or not? <laughs> ah, an eight-cylinder choir reverbing off the tree line. Ooh, a black on black stealth variant of the 360. <laughs> this road could do with grandstand seating. And another 360 spider. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Stretching all of its eight legs. We've got a silver example now. Oh, cheeky slide. Sir. As the challenge Shalali lines up at the start, the crowd silences in anticipation. <laughs> Honda would be proud. with that moist surface. Why are you running? to stand two inches from a stranger. Right, this 360 has been made into a challenge to Dale. With a relatively brave number plate too. Now this one is a challenge to Dale. And another brave number plate as well. Right, another brave plate. Oh no, just a brave driver of an accidental toot. Now for some London driving. Blip. Is that it? Got anything else to say? Blip. Much else? What a shame. Oh, damp roundabout. Resist the urge to send. Well done, the rev. That is a four five. Oh, there it is. We re-enter Monaco for another red 360. Maybe this guy aspires to live the life of Rubens Barrichello. Mm, Rubens hasn't quite found the throttle pedal yet. Maybe the tunnel will produce a nice echo. Artistic. Well, what's going on here now? Rubens is shredding up someone's back garden. <laughs> Rubens doesn't know the difference between a lawnmower and a Ferrari 360 Challenge Stradale. You see, this Rubens is a Challenge Stradale. You can tell by the way it doesn't mow. <laughs> Beautiful, I love them in yellow. Now this 360 is more something Kimi Raikkonen may drive. It has a body kit. We're back with Rubens and a Challenge Stradale. <laughs> Ultimate gift to the ears. <laughs> this chap is revving to announce his arrival. Almost like the mating call of a sparrow. <laughs> I see no 360. <laughs> Ignored. A less brave number plate this time round, going for the flyby. Go <laughs> bello, mate. We're back in London now, so I'm not expecting much. That was 0 to 30 miles an hour, and slow back down. Hope Jeff, the window salesman, is ready. 
Did you get it, Jeff? Ah, Rubens is back with his CS. Watch out for that succulent lawn. Well done, Rubens. Lawn avoided. Oh, it's Rubens' teammate, Mr. Schumacher. Right, we're back at the Supercar Amphitheatre. He loved that. Right, a slow-moving CS and a rev. Come on, you've got a crowd and a private rose at your dispense. Oh, yep, yeah, no, no, maybe. This one, a 3.6 litre V8. As the commentary resorts, a fun facts to keep the crowd awake. Oh, look at me, bringing you exclusive content from inside a Challenge Chidale. Palm tree suggests I'm on an expensive holiday too, living my best life. Where is it? Oh, that was a prominent echo. Ooh. And that was 60 miles an hour, officer. And the crowd are loving it. Oh, cheeky downshift. This is a magnificent Kunigsegger gear RS. Made even more magnificent by the flyby from Sebastian Vettel over there. He was aroused by the revs. What? And I was confused. This is revving it. Why do you need to accelerate? It's so much better when they accelerate. And somewhat disappointed. This fella has had a lucrative night at the casino and he's cruising back in his Ferrari with his lady by his side. Monaco, the home of wealth. Pride and 18,000 car spotters. And the return of Rubens totally distracted by the lawns. Oh, the little squirt. I see more interested in the R33 GTR. Now there's a big crowd to impress. My microphone wasn't quite up for the job. Look at those shiny tips. Here he goes. Well, everyone to my left has now been hole punched. It's TVR versus Ferrari. <laughs> The TVR is unusually quiet compared to the 360, to the disappointment of its number plate. That's a helicopter. Hmm? A rev. And back to helicopter noises. Couldn't have a 360 compilation without. YouTuber seen through glass. Back in Monaco now. Oh, hello. Steady, steady. He almost rear-ended that poor Ferrari whilst capturing his content. 360 with Challenge Serrare stripes. He was pointing to his dashboard for some unknown reason. Maybe a cryptic puzzle as he's about to dash off to keep us from being bored. Hmm, not much dashing. <laughs> that was six blips. Joyous. Joyous indeed. A blue stripeless Challenge Serrare this time. <laughs> oh. He was wearing his courageous underpants that day. This junction has a spider infestation. One going north. <laughs> The other going south. Oh, I ignored him completely. Right, we're at the start of the Brooklyn's Hill Climb. A test of acceleration, torque and braking. Just don't forget to pull oh. oh. We have a cool combo here, a standard 360 with a yellow Challenge Shadale. I do love them in yellow. Yes, we established that earlier in the video, Adam. Another combo here, a black CS on one side and another magnificent yellow CS up front. Even the idle sound of a 360 is something to behold. So with that in mind, I will shut the hell up for the last part of the video and provide some raw rackets to excite your ears. Enjoy! <laughs>